We are closer than we have ever been to eradicating polio, thanks to the two vaccines that give protection against the virus. In this video, I will tell you how both of these vaccines work and the unique roles they each have to play in delivering a polio-free world. Let's start now with how the polio virus works. Polio infects the intestine and spreads when it is excreted and picked up by other people. This means that the threat is greatest in places with poor sanitation. Most infected people don't show any symptoms, so they can spread the virus to others without anyone even knowing that polio is present. But for one in every 200 people, the virus spreads into the spinal cord, causing incurable paralysis. We have two vaccines that can help us to protect children against polio the oral polio vaccine and the inactivated injectable polio vaccine. These vaccines work in different ways. The oral polio vaccine, which I will call OPV, protects children by introducing weakened strains of the virus into the child's body, just like the flu and the measles vaccines. This offers immunity in much the same way as wild polio spreads infection. When the virus in the vaccine makes its way into the intestine, it begins to replicate, causing antibodies to build up. This is called mucosal or intestinal immunity. The weakened viruses from the vaccine can also be excreted, and in places with poor sanitation, it can then spread in the environment, just like wild polyvirus. However, in this case, it actually helps children in the surrounding community by transferring protection beyond the child who received the vaccine, thus passively immunizing others. OPV has two magic tricks up its sleeve, which makes it special. Firstly, it breaks the chain of infection by stopping the wild virus spreading between people. Secondly, OPV is given by simply putting two drops into the mouth of a child. This means that people without medical training can vaccinate children. An incredible global network of community leaders, volunteers, families, and many others have made invaluable contributions by getting this vaccine to some of the most remote and challenging corners of the world. The second vaccine in the polio eradication toolkit is the inactivated polio vaccine, or IPV. For this vaccine, trained health workers are needed because it is administered through an injection. IPV does not contain a weakened form of the virus, like OPV does, but instead consists of killed strains of the virus. These mostly produce antibodies in the blood, not in the intestine. This means that IPV can protect the child who receives the injection, but it does very little to stop that child from carrying the virus in their intestine and spreading to others. As we move closer to a world that is finally free from polio, IPV will become more important through routine immunization to safeguard the progress we have made. It is important to remember that any vaccine is only as good as the number of children it can reach and protect. Above 95% of people need to be vaccinated to stop polio from circulating. In addition to bringing vaccines directly to children through polio campaigns, the Global Polio Eradication Initiative and its partners are helping to strengthen routine immunization programs, which should provide a strong and enduring foundation of immunity against polio in every community. Both of these vaccines have important complementary roles to play to protect children against polio. Thank you for watching.